Hello everyone, I am Daksha Mittal and I am from IIT BHU. So this video is made to address all the questions like my friends were asking me that Daksha, you are going to go to BHU or IIT BHU. So this video is all made to answer all those questions and to basically highlight upon the difference between IIT BHU and BHU. So to start with, BHU as a whole consists of uh, six institutions and uh, around 140 departments out of which IIT BHU is an integral part. Uh, both of them are autonomous campuses and self-contained campuses. That means they are uh, capable of handling their own decisions and they're not dependent upon each other. And um, MHRD uh, finances or funds both of them separately there isn't any sort of relationship between the two uh, and uh, i would like to tell you the story behind this in 1960 madan mohan malwe established uh, kashi hindu vishwavidyalaya in which the faculty of arts was the first faculty subsequently there was a need of many more such faculties and many more such uh, 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 you know engineering colleges uh, so it was decided in 1919 that uh, they would make a uh, engineering college and its name was uh, Banaras engineering college uh, in uh, 1968 in its name was changed to ITBHU I repeat it's ITBHU not IITBHU uh, the admission uh, to this was based upon uh, AI uh, but in 2012 all of a sudden it was changed to IIT and uh, from then, uh, all of its uh, issues and all of its uh, uh, administration is all under IITs as IITs are governed uh, in the same way IIT BHU is governed. So uh, both are in a single campus, but uh, the both are managed differently, like all the convo uh, convocation ceremonies, be it the sports events, be it examination library, everything is different. Like in lab library also, uh, it has a well-stocked main library and five independent libraries like I'm talking about the BHU as a whole in campus and uh, there are certain things which are in common uh, like uh, there are uh, medical facilities which are same and uh, in previous video in of BHU college review I made a mistake I'm sorry for that uh, I said that uh, swimming pool uh, they have an independent swimming pool, but uh, yeah, they do not have an independent swimming pool. Uh, BHU has a swimming pool of, uh, and the people of IIT can visit that swimming pool at particular timings and it has their own team, uh, own coaches, and they can go and uh, learn swimming there. Uh, they do not have a private swimming pool uh, in IIT BHU campus. It's in the whole of uh, BHU campus. Okay, so now talking about the uh, admission processes. Uh, if you want to get admission to uh, BHU, then you need to clear specific type of tests which are dependent upon your course of interest. And uh, for IIT BHU, you need to clear uh, J mains followed by J advance. And you need to secure a uh, certain amount of uh, rank which is required to get admission to this IIT and uh, uh, about the rankings and all uh, IIT BHU was ranked 11th uh, by the NIRF rank 2019 and BHU as a campus uh, was ranked third among all the campuses uh, actually IIT BHU uh, was ranked among all the IITs and this BHU is ranked am among all the uh, specifications that they uh, they prefer to make and uh, the first one is Indian Institute of uh, technology science and technology bangalore second one is jnu new delhi and third is bhu campus uh now i'm talking about the students there are approximately 35 students in the bhu campus and uh, around 5000 uh, students who graduate every year from iit bhu and that is a great big number uh so that was all from my side i tried to make uh, the best of it if in case you have more information you can uh, surely give it to me in the comment box below uh, till then bye bye